Okay, I'm going to basically just go over everything that I'm giving people so they can kind of know how everything works for the most part. I try to do these videos, you know, so often because, you know, there's new apps and just a lot of things change sometimes. So with that being said, I'm going to just go and show you guys how to work it. Okay, when you open up your file stick, you plug it in. This is the screen that'll come on after you log into your Wi-Fi right here. So you basically gonna go right here to your apps and channels that's where I put mostly everything that I install on there so you can go on here and you can just kind of scroll down and see what's going on this is my personal fire stick so my apps and channels may look a little different but for the most part it's going to be the same so and this will be your recents which will basically be the stuff that you recently went through um let me just start off with sports news okay you're gonna open that up I think there's like a game or two on right now. Yeah, it's two games on right now for the NBA. So you can basically use, you know, the controller to control it. You go up there, you get a bunch of links. You turn your mouse on and you just pick a link. For the most part, they always work. This is just an ad. You just press the back button, uh, hit the play button. And you can turn your mouse back on. Go to that little corner right there. And there you go. You got your full screen. Okay. That's sports. All right. I don't want to go through every single thing because I don't want to make this video, like, extremely long. I just want to get the point across. By the way, if for some reason you don't know that the apps are right here in the front you can always go over to your settings go into your applications manage install applications and basically everything that I put on here will be in here so you'll have a long list of just different things you know um, yeah alright now let's go back and let me show you how direct TV works which is one of my main situations that I have for the fire sticks that I like to promote a lot because there's not many people doing this so turn it on give it a second to log in load the channels up and this is the screen you'll see right here you're gonna need to use your mouse though to control it but I can guarantee you this is like this is a one right here this is official legit all that so your play button on your mouse you hit it twice you see that circle? Now you can move around with it. So you go to live TV streaming. Hit viewing God. Let everything load up. Don't worry about the screen looking like that. Just come to the side right here. Tap on the screen. Hit that box right there. Then you go right there. Full screen. And you got a whole bunch of channels, so you can always back out of it and go up and down. See what you got available. You got all the basics and the premium, so you know. You can check it out. So yeah, that's the gist of that. Also, I don't want to make the video extremely long once again. Um, and for your movies and TV shows, you got Cinema HD, you got Cyberflix, you got Silent Ghost, you got BTV, you got Streamio. You have another basketball app right here that works the same as the other one that I was just showing y'all. Um, there's plenty of things. TTV. There's a lot of apps on here, and they all do basically the same thing but I like to just load everything up so you guys can have a nice amount of things so long story short let's go to cinema HD for people that's not familiar with this stuff I'm just gonna show you the basics and how it works they got a new version out don't worry about it you could just install click install and let it install kinda happy this happened while I'm making the video so you guys can see everything then basically you just go to install Give it a second.
just give it a second, let it install. It'll take about 30 seconds to a minute. And there you go, app installed. You can hit done and go back into it or you can just press open. It'll open it back up. You can just go down, hit OK. It's just letting you know what the new updates is bringing. You got your TV shows right here. Um, you got your search bar right there. That's basically any TV show you can think of. Then you can go to the top left to where I just went. I did it kind of fast. Hold on. Top left, you can go in there, switch to your movies, and you can come right here where it says trending, and they have different categories, as you can see. So, you do that. Oops, I exited out by the accident. I'm sitting here pressing these buttons pretty fast, y'all. Excuse me. All right. So, you go into your movies. Same thing. Um, they got basically anything you could think of. Even some of these movies are in theaters. Got Creed 2. You can just click on it, for, for example. And once you click on it, scroll down. And there you go. You got plenty, plenty of links. Plenty. It shows you the quality. Which I think is cool. But you got plenty of links though. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter which link you click. Just make sure you're good with it. Um, if a link is broken... All you do is basically just back out and go back into it. And then, you know, yeah. All right. Leaving out of that. Don't want to make this video too long. You also got Cyberflix TV, which is basically Terrarium TV, but a rebranded name. Uh, same situation here. You can go into your top left, go to your movies, and, you know, yada, yada. I'll back out of that. Uh, Silent Ghost, you got that also. Pretty simple layout. I think Silent Ghost is pretty cool for the most part, for the simple fact that I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Press play. There you go. There's no links. Nothing. You just get right to it. I think that's pretty cool. And that's every movie on here. You know, like you can just come on here and um, click any of them. And it does the same thing. Fast. You know, super fast. So, you got that. And, um... That's basically the gist of everything. Uh, there's plenty more apps on here. But those are the main ones you're probably going to be using. But there's plenty of apps on here. You got TV Tap. You can go in here. and They got live TV too. But direct TV is really what you're going to be using for the most part. So, But yeah, all this stuff works that I put on here. I just like the fact that. I load it up and I give you guys plenty of options, you know, different languages in here. It usually lets you know on the side, see, Espanol, US, UK, so forth. So back out of that. Um, that's basically it. Um, once you get to using the mouse for like direct TV and, and the sports apps, that's all you're going to ever need. That's all you're going to ever need. That's all you're going to ever need. Like, this is, this is like a money saver right here. You can, um, you can do a lot of things with this right here. So, 
you get in there, it's going to ask you what do you want to pick, yada, 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 you know. And there you go. I do this. So, there you go. I hope this helped people out a lot. That's not too familiar with how everything works. So, you guys have a good day.